Okay, so the first thing you want to do is conceal any spots in your face. So I'm just using some CoverGirl True Blend Concealer and just conceal any spots you might have um, under your eyes, um, anywhere like that. Any bumps, blemishes, red spots, anything like that. So go ahead and just conceal them now. And you can take your fingers and just blend that. So you can just take your foundation and put it on a sponge. So I'm really simple. And just put it all over your face. off the excess. And then go down and up like that. Just a little bit. That'll take away any shininess. Um, you can use a translucent if you like, but this just helps it a little bit more. Like, if you like to fill your brows in a bit just to give them a more like clean look, you just take some brow powder and an angled brush like so, and just fill it in slightly. Potion. And the purpose of the primer, you're going to put it all over your leg, just a little bit, a little bit, and rub this in with your fingers. Um, I like to use my ring finger because that's the finger that's supposedly just taking my elf shadow brush. This is one dollar at Target, Walmart, local drug stores, things that nature. It's only one dollar. And that's a really good brush that you can use, especially if you're just starting out. You want to pat it on the brush and always tap out to get the um, tap the excess off. And what you're going to do is take and hold your eye, pat that on, and then just start sweeping. You want to put it all over your lid. I'm just going to brush that on just like this. It's like a very neutral purple. Like I said, it almost looks like a pink. I brush that up, up into your crease. Your crease is like right here where that bone is. You want to take go up to the crease a little bit like so then you can take the same brush and pull your lid down just a, pull your eye down just a little bit and brush that same color on down just line your eye with it just a little bit just a little bit take a an angled brush an angled eye brush and I'm using the another elf brush like so it's only a dollar once again and I want to take a like a brown color like a, um, a natural looking brown and I'm going to use off my um, bitch slap palette the 35 um, palette I want to use this color right here this brown and I'm taking and I'm putting it on there and I'm tapping it and I'm just going to Go right over my crease. Go right over top of what you've already done. Right over top of the um of that purple. And just go upwards. Like right underneath the brow bone. <clears throat> wanna take a then we're gonna take a crease brush. This is a Studio Tools brush from Target. It was only like $2.50. And you want to take a darker purple. I'm going to use Idle by Bare Essentials. And, and then you want to go into this crease right here. And then you want to create like a V. So you want to go from here on down, make a little V. And I'll show you that now. So you wanna and you wanna create little circles. So you go circle, 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 circle. Circle, circle. Circle, circle. Now like you do my eye just like give me a crease a little more. Little circles. And then we can here, here, little circles. Little circles. And you wanna go down. You wanna take 
I'm just going to take this all over shadow brush from Sephora and take this cream color right here from my same palette. Just put a little bit on, tap off the excess, and then just brush right there and just go upward and come down. And you want to line your eyes. Now for the top part of my eye, I'm going to use liquid liner. And I know it could seem a little scary at first, I'm just going to show you a really easy way to apply it. Take and pull your eye like this. Turn your arm the opposite way. Your wrist, I mean. Start from the middle. Don't close your eye all the way. And then start from the middle. And do a little line, little line. Like so. And then you're going to come in some. Actually... If you'd like to take a little gray just to give it a little smoked out look, if you'd like to try it, um, I'm just going to use this gray right here for my same palette. I'm going to put a little bit on my blending brush, just a little bit, a little bit. If you want to try, just put a little bit on this outside crease. And do those, don't do the whole lot, but just do those tiny circles and go upward. And to me, that gives a little bit more definition. Just a little bit um, eyeliner pencil with black and just pull my, lay it down and then line my lash line. To let, to, to do your lashes if you'd like you can curl your lashes now um i'm just using some lash blast by cover girl it's um it's a really good mascara that you can find in the drugstore for about seven to eight dollars and you just take and hold your lashes up and then well, when you take it out when you pull it out make sure you wipe the excess off and you use it so you're gonna hold this up, hold your weight up, and then wiggle it from the root right now and just slightly wiggle. If you have another mascara with a smaller brush, once you do that, you want to take a blush. And in the picture, she has a lot of blush on. And um, I'm gonna use two blushes. I'm gonna use Optimist, Optimist by Bare Minerals. Um, this is a really rosy color and I'm just taking a little this darker plum color by covergirl this is about this retails about three dollars it's really cheap um, and I'm just taking a little bit on the brush tapping it and then lightly putting it right underneath where the blush is now you just want to take a soft pink I'm using Revlon's cream gloss this is Pink Cami 010, twisting it in, just applying it all over my lip. 